Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of similarity and dissimilarity, guys. So this concept also we have covered already in data mining. But the only concern why I'm making it again is when I made in data mining, I'm not having that much clarity when I made, guys. So now I have I have more clarity on the concept. So that is the reason why I am interested in making this video once again. Got it? Yes. So let us start. So basically, similarity and dissimilarity. Okay, so let me ask you one thing. So, do these two pens look similar or not? So, don't judge by its color. It is black, it is green. Don't say like that, guys. Okay, yes. So, they both look same, right? So, they are of same company. So, they are designed in such a way that they should look similar, right? Yes. So, these things, whenever you want to calculate the similarity value, it will be greater, right? Yes. So, if, they, if we check for dissimilarities, are there any dissimilarities, guys? Yes. So, we are having the color dissimilarity here. So, it is green in color, it is black in color, right? Yes. So, in the same way, if you compare these two pens, so both are of green color, but this is a gel pen, some kind of gel pen, you can say, okay? And this is a marker pen or sketch pen, you can say, right? Yes. So, in that way, these two are having more dissimilarities, right? So, this is thin, this is a thick, this is blue color, this is white or golden color, you can say. Like that. So, this concept is nothing but similarity and dissimilarity, guys. So basically, in this topic, so we'll be discussing about the similarity and dissimilarity of data, guys. Okay? Yes. So let us go through the definition of similarity. So as the word says, similarity is the measure of how like two data objects are looking. So basically here I showed you with respect to pens or items, right? Yes. So in the similar way, if you are checking for some objects of data objects in simple words, okay? So then that is called as similarity, okay? So the value of the similarity is higher. It means that they are more similar or alike. Okay, so you will be asking me that, okay, so then is the range up to 100? So if it is 100 by 100, it is 100% 100 similar or 1 by 1? So yes, it is 1 by 1, guys. So the range is 0 to 1, guys. Got it? Yes. Similarity, sorry, similarly, dissimilarity, guys. So basically, dissimilarity is nothing but opposite of similarity, right? So basically, in probability, if I say probability of occurrence of G is equals to 0 0.5. So, if I ask you probability of not occurrence of E, what is guys? It is also 0 0.5, right? So, how can you say that? So, we are having a probability equation in this way, right? So, probability of occurrence plus probability of not occurrence is equal to 1. So, using this, you will calculate. So, in the same way, similarity plus say, dissimilarity is equal to 0. That is nothing but if you know dissimilarity value, you can calculate similarity value. If you know similarity value, you can calculate dissimilarity value. Got it? Yes. So, similar, dissimilarity is nothing but as the word says, dissimilarity is a measure of how different two data objects are. Got it? Yes. Okay. So, let us continue. Okay, just give me a second. Yes. So, lower when objects are more alike. So, basically, if your value is near to zero, they are dissimilar, you can say. Got it? Yes. Guys, I'll be going through six different methods like six different variables similarity and dissimilarity guys so please make sure that you are perfect with these concepts because i am going to take six different lectures you can say okay yes so that is the reason why we have some clarity about this even though you are not having 100 percent clarity once we are going solving the problems you'll get a clear idea guys i'm sure about it okay yes so please don't worry about it okay so let us continue so minimum dissimilarity of them is zero okay so upper limit varies okay Okay, so proximity refers to the similarity or dissimilarity. So even in most of the lectures or in examinations, they will be saying to measure the proximity of these items or these data set. So basically there they are asking to calculate the similarity and dissimilarity only guys. Okay, yes. So basically whatever data we are representing will be representing in the form of matrices guys. Okay, so when you are checking dissimilarity of any two items, so dissimilarity of one with one, dissimilarity of two with one, dissimilarity of n with one. So you will be checking like this for the whole table, but there is a small catch for it. So dissimilarity of itself will always be zero, right? Because they are 100% similar. So if you are checking with this pen, with this pen, so are there any changes with this pen? No. Hence, both will be 100% similar, which means the dissimilarity value is zero. Right. So that is the reason why the diagonal will always be zero and the lower triangle or the upper triangle. So you can write any one because the dissimilarity of two with one or one with two is the same. Right. So that's the reason why instead of writing upper triangular matrix values, we have wrote these values. OK. Yes. So in this way, you can represent the dissimilarity matrix. Guys, guys will be calculating each and every values. Guys, so don't worry. We'll be taking some numerical examples. OK. Yes. OK. So 
d of 2 comma 1 represents the distance between 2 comma 1 so basically here i was saying dissimilarity similarity dissimilarity similarity right yes so your question will be so is there any formula to solve it so basically if there's formula how you are going to calculate it right yes so in clustering whatever objects are alike they will be in a single cluster right so if you recall we discussed about the definition right yes so which means if the distance is closer they are similar if the distance is far they are alike sorry they are dissimilar got it yes so as a di dj of di is equals to d that is nothing but dissimilarity of j comma i is equals to dissimilarity of i comma j hence we can use the triangular matrix okay so there is no need to uh, solve the full problem right yes so d i comma j dissimilarity okay so yes so let us continue so basically i told you right the formula similarity plus dissimilarity is equals to one right yes so if one value is given you can calculate the other value right yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea right yes so in the next lecture we'll be going through some basic methods to find similarity and dissimilarity okay so that will be the fifth lecture okay yes so basically this lecture we have clearly discussed in data mining guys so i'll be connecting you back again to data mining lecture so when I, whenever i am connecting you back there i'll be just informing you guys because it will be something different right so i'll be starting with some other introduction and all those things so you, you should not get confused like why this video has been added in the playlist right yes so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about the proximity measures of a nominal attributes or categorical attributes so i think everyone is now clear with the attributes also right so we already discussed about them in our previous lectures okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture and discuss about the proximity calculations and all those things okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching